votes. And the ballot this year for Alabama voters includes 10 proposed constitutional amendments and a measure that reorganizes the nation's longest constitution. That measure would remove racist language, delete repeated and repealed sections, and organize the document by subject. Last night, we took a look at Amendment 1. It would limit bail opportunities for defendants charged with most violent offenses under Alabama law. Today, we're taking a closer look at Amendment 2. This one deals with funding for broadband access. News 19's chief investigative reporter Brian Lawson has been looking at the amendment and joins us now with what we need to know. Brian. Right, so a provision in Alabama's Constitution bars local governments from giving money or things of value to a corporation or individual. Sponsors say that became an issue with federal COVID relief money being sent to local governments for broadband. Now, voters will see Alabama's Amendment 2 would authorize the state, a county, or a municipality to grant federal award funds or any other source of funding designated for broadband infrastructure by state law to public or private entities for providing or expanding broadband infrastructure. Now, the broadband amendment comes at a time when Alabama continues to lag behind in access even at the lowest recommended broadband speeds. 28% of Alabamians lack household access and there is money to pay for it. Alabama reports has more than $37 million in grants obligated for broadband. Amendment 2 sponsor Randall Shedd of ARAB says it would help. Amendment 2 will clarify that uh, local governments in Alabama can, can uh, legally spend money for broadband expansion in their areas. This is an economic issue for the state of Alabama. So even if you have good high-speed internet, there are lots of places across the state that does not have it. And for our state to grow and those areas to grow, we're going to have to have uh, broadband in, in this day and age we live. 13% of Alabama's 1.65 million addresses are unserved by broadband of at least 25 megabits per second download and 3 megabits per second upload. That's the FCC's current benchmark speed. 19% of addresses are underserved by 100 slash 20 MBAPS and download up speed serv upload service there. That's the state's target. They're trying to align for federal funding in the future. And higher speed services like 100 100 are available only to about 25% of addresses, so a lot of work to do. On Thursday, we'll take a look at Amendment 3, which would require the governor to call a victim's family before commuting a death sentence. You can find our reporting on this year's ballot amendments at WHNT.com.